Like I TV think was that's meant to be. much better. I do too. I, I kind of like it. Kind of partial to free TV. And we're funny. Bonus. Okay, I'm well, funny. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, okay, sure. I'm not going to touch that. But anyway, <laughs> weather is not too funny today. It's uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, let's not take a bad. look outside. We do have a couple of showers and storms across the area. It's that stalled front that's uh, sitting across green country, and it's bringing a kind of a big change to to the temperatures. I'll show you that in a second. First, though, I want to show you what we're seeing as far as rainfall. We've seen some showers and storms well up to the north there. Uh, but first, what we'll see off to the west, kind of making its way into parts of the Osage County are a few of these showers and storms right now. A couple of them just to the west there of Pawhuska, uh, also just to or to the east rather. Sorry, to the west of Winona, and then off to the west a little bit farther. We're seeing Pawnee. It's right on the edge of there uh, of that for you, and you're probably hearing a lot of thunder with that one because there is a little bit of lightning being associated with that particular cell. Up in Kansas, uh, Mount Pleasant, and then over near Elm Grove, Hackberry. It's just kind of centered right in the center there of you. You're also seeing some pretty heavy rainfall and hearing some rumbles of thunder. None of this is severe, of course, but you can tell it's kind of draped in one little line there. That looks to be right where the front happens to be stalled at the moment. You can tell because of the temperature difference. Of course, we have temperatures down here to the southeast coming in in the 80s and 90s, whereas temps on the other side of that boundary coming in in the 60s. So there's kind of a big difference here just across uh, parts of the state this morning. In Tulsa, we're kind of just right in the middle there. It's 77 degrees right now at the airport. We're seeing it at 72 in Bartlesville. All right, future track takes some of those showers and storms up into Kansas through about 1 o'clock with a few more showers and storms developing down to the southeast at that point. As we head into the afternoon, they're pretty widespread across the area, so it may be good to have the umbrella handy just in case a couple of these little isolated showers or storms pops up right over your house uh, as you're out and about. But that's what we're looking at for the rest of the day today. Temperature-wise, We'll get up to about 88, so it won't be quite as warm as it was yesterday. But there again, that 40% chance of showers and storms. Let's fast forward to the, the weekend. Of course, lots of people look into uh, Saturday. We have two pretty big games, and they're both home games. First, OSU against Pittsburgh. That's going to be about 86 degrees on Saturdays. It kicks off at 2.30, uh, and winds will be light at that point. Then later on in the evening, Saturday night at 6.30, we're looking for temperatures closer to 83. There again, that's the OU game, and of course, it's going to be kind of muggy and gray there uh, as the uh, game is taking place. So, all right, quickly on the seven-day forecast, 40% today, 60% to 70% chance for showers and storms Thursday, Friday, and this weekend. Again, we just showed you how that'll be affecting the games. It'll rain in the morning and then clear by the afternoon. Good to see the lows in the 60s. Yeah. All right, thanks.